People always tell you to think outside of the box. But this week, you'll need to think inside the box. Hello and welcome. My name is David and this is Life Escape Guide. This week, we'll have another review in Berlin. The room is called the Cube's Cabinet from the escape room company Labyrinthu. They are located in the east of Berlin in a kind of industrial area where you wouldn't expect a escape room company, but after entering, it is quite a nice place. Unfortunately, I don't find an English version for the website, but they don't give so much information about the room anyways. But let's talk about the room itself, and oh boy, there are things to talk about. There are a couple of themes and designs you find time and time again, like prison breaks, or dark dungeons you have to escape from, or even galleries. I found a few of them here and there. This room has a unique concept that I haven't seen anywhere else. The room basically is just a white sterile cube. White walls, white roof, white ceiling. There's one element in the room, which is a separate cube standing in the middle of the room, which is white as well. Before you play the room, you get some extra clothes, which are white slippers for your shoes and white gloves for your hands. That creates a feeling of both intriguing minimalism and scary claustrophobia. Where the usual escape room bombards you with details and objects and hints, this room gives you nothing in the beginning. You're just in this plain white cube and don't know where to start. But don't get me wrong, there's plenty to do in this one hour you play the room. The longer you inspect the room, the more hints and details and hidden secrets you find. And every single one of them feels like a small victory against this plain white walls. And since you don't know what to expect from the room, the room holds many smaller and bigger surprises for you to find. You don't get too much information or story about the room. You are just placed inside and have to find your way out. And while doing so, you hear a subtle but scary soundtrack over the whole thing. You don't really know what's going on. Is that a prison or a death trap? You can't really tell, but that doesn't make it less interesting. The room is inspired by the horror film Cube. And like the movie, it plays with the fear of not knowing what's to come next. The music in the room is actually the film soundtrack. So let's come to the rating. The puzzles in that room were really good. Mostly because they were not just placed in the room, they were the room. Or so well integrated and part of the room that they felt really organic. I would give them a 8 out of 10. The big selling point of the room is the design. I would give it a 9 out of 10. And I know I've given other rooms that probably had cost more or took more craftsmanship to make lower ratings than this room. Because this room really lives from the design, from the concept, from the idea. And I haven't seen anything like it. And that definitely is worth a lot to me. The weakest part for that room, like so often, is the immersion. I would give it a 6 out of 10. The room has a very dense claustrophobic feel and that works quite well. But what it misses is a real story. That adds up to a total rating of 23. And I would definitely recommend the room to everyone who is looking for something different and unique. So now my old question. Have you played the room yourself? Did you like it? Did you dislike it? Do you agree with my review? Put your thoughts down in the comments. And if you liked the video, you can consider subscribing to my channel. And if you want to miss none of my videos, then you can press the bell icon to be notified whenever I upload new videos. And if you want to watch another video now, you can click here on my right. Well, then see you next week.